You know, I'm not sure BTS knows how to exist without breaking records and making history. The guys are at it again today as they are set to become the first ever Korean act to perform a stadium show in the US with news of an October 6th concert at New York City Field. Now I know I get excited about a lot of these BTS updates, ARMY, but this is really massive. BTS is going to end the North American leg of their tour where the New York Mets play home games inside the 40,000 seat stadium. Now if you're trying to be there on the 6th, tickets will go on sale next Friday. Friday, August 17th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, which, as I'm sure you already know, is exactly one week before the guys are set to drop the highly anticipated Love Yourself Answer album on August 24th. Speaking of which, BTS dropped the Love Yourself Answer Epiphany comeback trailer today as well. The clip features a song with pop rock vibes and sees Jin reflecting on loving himself with lyrics like, I'm the one I should love in this world, shining me, the precious soul of mine. I finally realized, so I love me. Not so perfect, but so beautiful. I'm the one I should love. Visually, the video goes back and forth between black and white and full color as Jin begins in a room all by himself, then heads out into the rain, only to return to the same room he began in. The final seconds see him beside a pickup truck on a beach as his fellow group members appear alongside him. Upon release, the trailer almost immediately became the number one trend worldwide on Twitter, providing the guys plenty of momentum heading into what should be a very exciting end to the summer for the group. Now I asked you before how you were feeling about the guys' big day over on Twitter, and here's what you had to say. Rina says she's sad to see the Love Yourself series ending, but the song is amazing. Bam admitted they teared up after hearing Jin's vocal and the message behind the song, typing, they never fail to give us a masterpiece every comeback. But S150 may have made the best point of all, if the intro is this amazing, the world isn't prepared for what's going to come next. For a much deeper dive and details on everything that has gone down so far today, be sure to check out Tamar Herman's articles up on Billboard.com right now. And please, down in the comments, let me know what you think of both big stories from today. Until next time for Billboard News, I'm Kevin Kenny.